So EcoTrist have just announced that they're going to update their pricing structure again. If you remember way back when, Ecotristy were pretty much the first major charging company to put charge points throughout the UK. Uh, they started off completely free and it was brilliant. You used to be able to drive all over the place, uh, provided you were happy doing multiple charges with your small batteries. Uh, we could drive all over the place for absolutely nothing. They then introduced a bit of a pricing structure and that's where we've been for a little while now. Uh, they were um, three pounds for connection and 17p per kilowatt hour and that's certainly what I've been paying for do you know I don't even know if it's been a year it um it feels like it's been a little while but I don't even think we've um we've been on that for a year well they're updating it again and now they're saying that it's going to cost 30p per kilowatt hour and there's going to be no connection charge so uh, that sounds like quite a good deal to me if you are an Ecotristy home energy customer, it's 15p per kilowatt hour. Uh, and likewise, no, um, no connection charge. So um, I'm not a customer, but what I wanted to do is try and work out how that affects us. Uh, is that gonna be better for us when we're charging our cars or worse? Because normally if there's a price change, it generally means that we're gonna be out of pocket. Well, handily, that trip that I did up to Manchester a couple of weeks ago I've still got all the receipts from all the charging I did the vast majority of the charging I did on that trip was uh, at service stations at Ecotricity chargers so I'm gonna work out what it cost me on the old rate and then what it would cost me on the new rate okay got me a bit of paper so um, during that trip, I stopped eight times going up and back at Ecotricity Chargers. Uh, I got a total of 99.3 kilowatt hours of electricity for my car. Uh, that cost me 40 pounds and 89 pence. Now, doing the sums on that, uh, I think that probably was about 41 pence per kilowatt hour. So I think we can see where this is going. Uh, I've converted that so 99.3 kilowatt hours at 30 pence per kilowatt hour and it comes to a total of 29 pounds and 79 pence which is an 11 pound and 11 pence saving so there we go it um it's cheaper which i have to say uh, i'm surprised at i didn't think that we would be seeing that sort of uh, reduction in price because that's substantial so it just goes to show that now the uh, infrastructure is rolling out, now people are using it more, uh, things are starting to settle down a bit now. And um, we've seen Shell with their pricing, which uh, I still think is a little bit steep, but it's the same as petrol. It depends. If you're in a, a prime spot where uh, it uh, it's likely to cost that much more, then you're going to pay that much more. So uh, I'm really pleased that Ecotricity have done this. Uh, it, there was a lot of upset when they first changed their pricing structure understandably because it was free but um ultimately because it was you know connection fees i think uh make it more difficult so on my trip i had to keep thinking about well i need to try and get a little bit further so that it warrants my connection fee on top of the charge well now it doesn't matter you can drive 10 miles and charge up because all you're doing is paying for the electricity that you use which is great uh, if they wanted to make this absolutely perfect I would suggest they um, have a um, get rid of all the apps uh, get rid of any RFID cards and, and allow us to use our credit cards or debit cards at the pumps that would be so so much simpler but um, this is a big step in the right direction as far as I'm concerned you gonna do at Christmas open presents <laughs> and these are chocolates Hello there, um, I'm just after an update to see if one of your charges is um, now working again. I don't know if you could look that up for me please. Yeah, do you know the transfer number? I, I can't remember, I'm sorry, It's. Um, I can give you the address for it. Right. Yeah, if you could tell me where it is. It's um, Tr Trinity Street. That is... As far as I can see, I'm going to double and triple check, bear with me, but it's looking good. The the issue with it was the Chadamo cable was broken and you had a new one on order. Um, and that was probably the last update, it was about three weeks ago. Well, it's showing on our website, it's all fine. I've got no open faults on it, so that's going to be grand. Excellent, I'll go straight there now then. Brilliant, thank you ever so much.
can't believe it. It all looks very Christmassy here, but um, it's not even December yet. Anyway, just arriving at the car park. Here is the moment of truth. Um, let's not hold our breath, but uh, let's let's just hope. You never know. Surely not. Let me just double check. Because I can't quite believe it. It is, it's charging. They fixed it. That's absolutely brilliant. Well, I think my uh, assessment of the Christmas lights here might have been a bit preemptive. They, um, actually weren't that good at all as you saw the uh actually i remember now uh seven or eight years ago it might even be more than that they got um this town got voted the worst town in the country for christmas lights and um to be honest i don't think they've um, done much to improve it since then but um i'm still charging which is great we're not quite 80 percent yet so um, i'm going to give it another 15 minutes uh get as much as i can before i have to go and then i can get straight home later on so uh Everything's looking good at the moment. That's all I need, 82%. That's more than enough to get me home. So um, I'm now going to uh, stop the charge, get on my way. Uh, and that's pretty much it for today, I think. If you've um, enjoyed today's vlog, remember to like and share it. And if you're not doing so already, uh, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you again next time. Take care.